Thousands of years have passed since Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel. The flood is far away too. Noah died many years later and returned to the Lord. From his sons, Shem, Ham and Japheth, dynasties and peoples were born and now roam the earth. Some lead a nomadic life in tribes headed by a chief who is a patriarch of a numerous family. Others have founded cities governed by a satrap or a king. Now, some people on their way to the east, where beautiful lands stretch out, found themselves in the nation of Shinar, and they built a city with a tall tower that almost touched the sky. But they did not use only stones and mortar to build it. In fact, they discovered that they can mix water with the argillaceous soil abundant in the region to make building bricks. And after drying them in the fire or under the sun, they become hard enough to be used in the construction of all sorts of houses and buildings. The people of that city were proud of their discovery, especially their king, who was feeling powerful and invincible. It was also possible to cement the stones together, not with clay as they used to, but with asphalt, a liquid substance which appeared on the surface of the lowland in great puddles. The asphalt also had the characteristic of burning for much longer than wood. I'll be whipped if I don't hurry up. I have to make another trip. The king wants the tower to be ready in four months. at least another hundred brick barrows at once, two hundred barrows each week, a thousand each month. But I can't produce that many bricks. I can't. I can't. On that construction site, five thousand slaves are working from dusk to dawn, and a double amount of bricks is needed immediately, at least double. I'll never be able to produce two hundred brick barrows each month. I just can't. What can I do to you to satisfy you, my great architect? I should look for too many workers more to produce all those bricks. Don't you realize that the tower has to reach the sky before the cold season? That's what the king wants, and you have to supply us with the bricks we need. And if you don't promise me that immediately, before dark you will taste the whip of the king's executioner. My great architect, why are you talking about the whip? The whip is too painful. Why do you want to punish me? So, what do you say? Are you going to do something about it? Your wish is my command, sir, off you. Oh. <laughs>
Okay, well, you have to work faster, faster. Get it up. My lord, this red stone is difficult to sculpt. Don't complain, old man. Shut up and work. This sculpture must be ready as soon as possible for our king. <laughs> Boy, where is your grandfather? There he is, mother. Look, there. Go and call him. Now he must eat. Call him. Later, mother. Now he is talking to God. You're right. Ashur. Ashur. My lord, you know my name? Certainly I know it. When you pray, I listen to you. But why do you let me hear your voice now? It's the first time. Faithful Ashur, go to the city behind the desert and proclaim the power of God. The people of that city are repudiating me. I want you to go to their king and talk to him in my name. Go, Ashur, before I have to punish them. Talk to them in my name. But my lord, you want me to go to a city beyond the desert. Maybe you forget that I am blind. I don't forget it, Ashur. Leave tomorrow at dawn. Go in the city and do as I told you. I will, my lord, and you shall guide my steps. Here is the city. I can see it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. My Lord. Speak. Your Majesty, these are the designs. The tower is already high, but it will get taller until it reaches the sky. No other king should be able to say that he is more powerful than me when the tower will be ready. Everybody knows about the tower. The kings of the nearby cities have sent spies to see and report. Did you hear, Ophir? When I named you High Architect, this was exactly what I wanted. No one is greater than me. And when will we have our own god? I know of no city that has its own god. I ordered it to be sculpted from red stone. It will be magnificent as you commanded. And we will put it at the peak of the tower. Red stone? Is that what you said? Yes, Your Majesty. I thought it would be very impressive in red stone. Great choice, Architect. Your idea is magnificent. Come on, get me wrong. Push it, come on. Come on, you see those clouds are going to arrive right up there. The best possible. You are watching the tower too. How could I not look at it? It's such an ugly thing. This way, the king will be able to spy on us. From up there, he'll see directly what is happening in the city, and if necessary, he'll send his troops. Here's your milk. You owe me a coin. I'll pay you tomorrow, right? I trust you, I trust you. They say it will be the highest tower in the whole world. And people will come and see it from all over the world. No, 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 no. I don't know if there are other people in this world other than us. All I know is that this tower is really ugly. Shh. The king doesn't want anyone to talk ill of his tower, does he? May I come in, sir? Who's out there? Who are you? Why did you come here? It's not important, but my name is Ashur. 
What do you want? Why are you building such a high because, tower? Because the king ordered it. So, what are you after? What have you got to do with it, you old tramp? But I understand you personally suggested it to the king. Of course I did. I suggested it in order to show the glory and greatness of our king. And it was you who told him to deny the almighty God and to build a god of stone. Of course, if a king wants to show off his power and greatness and glory, he must have a god of his own. And you want to build a god of stone to make it say everything the king wants? Yes, yes, but who are you? Why are you meddling in this? What do you want? Why are you telling me these things? Who are you? I asked you who you are and the reason why you came here to see me. Answer! What do you want? What are you looking for? I came here to tell you that you'll never finish this tower because it is not the will of the Almighty. You are insane! I will have you whipped! Guards! Guards! Up here! Quickly! Run! Run! Come on, come on! What do we have to do, Get sir? Get that blind fool out of my tent and beat him! But, sir, here there's nobody. But that's impossible. There was an old man, a boy and a dog. Where did they go? Off here, I paid a lot of money to build this great tower, and now you are all looking at it without my permission to do it and without paying me not even one single coin. You deserve to be whipped. I'm not prepared to share my wonderful tower with you, with you miserable lot who don't even pay me one single coin for looking at it without asking my permission. Sir, please do not say that. We always obeyed you. We were always diligent and prompt in fulfilling your orders. True, but I need a thousand more slaves and you must find them. My lord, if we don't finish this work before the cold season, we will have to wait another year before our great tower is completed. Therefore, it is necessary to find many more men to finish the work in time, my lord. Did you hear? Your duty now is to get many more slaves. No one did ever complain about my generosity, and I will be very generous this time as well. if you don't want to die. We are ready to die, but none of you will be going back home. No, but why do you want to fight? We came here to you in peace. We don't want to fight. We only wanted to help you in our mission for the king, didn't we? And what do you think we should do? You came with weapons in your hands. You want us to die without a fight? Huh? We came here to talk to you. We're listening. We weren't offer resistance. What do you want? Why have you come here? You must come to work in the city to finish building the king's tower. If you come, the king will be grateful and will pay you for your work. And if we refuse to leave our women in our tents? Well, you get the worst of it. Off we go. with us or we'll have to kill them all. Do you understand? We'll kill all of you. Why do you want to take our men? Where are you taking them now? They come with us to build the great tower of the king. Oh, Here, everybody will see you. First of all, I will pray to the Lord. Oh, God! 
And who is that? He is the one who comes from the desert. Is he blind? What's he doing now? Now he wants to speak. Be faithful to the God, our creator, who drew you from the void and gave you life. No one is more powerful, more omnipotent than he. He rewards the good and punishes the bad. Listen, mate, of what God are you speaking? I speak of the invisible God, the almighty, our creator. We have a new God now. Our God is the one on top of the tower. Our king ordered Ofer, the architect, to carve a god from red stone. And now the one you see over the tower is the god of our city. Whoever says he has seen God is a liar. God can't be seen through the eyes of man. No one can make a god as he pleases. No one. Not even the king, old prophet? No. Not even the king. <gasps> What is he talking about? This man is crazy! They are afraid of the king. You're right, Grandfather. Let's go. Mm. Great king, great king, listen to me, please. What do you want, old man? I come on behalf of God, great king. Really? How can you say that, you old man? He told me that you must proclaim his omnipotence. What? And where were you when he spoke to you? I was in the desert, deep in prayer, great king, when he told me about you and said that you should proclaim his omnipotence to your people and that you must cease building the tower. He told you that? Yes, great king, he sent me here to tell you all of this. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Come on, men, let's not waste our time. <gasps> Great King, tell me then, I beg you, what answer can I take to our God? But now I have another God, a God of red stone! Oh Lord, try to forgive him. Ashur, Ashur, it is not your fault if men are hard-hearted. It's not your fault. You must not suffer from thinking it is your fault. Is that you speaking, Lord? Did you see? I could do nothing. They are even more blind than me. Don't worry, Ashur. I will confound their language so that they may not understand one another's speech. This way, they will stop building the city, which will be named Babel. That is, confusion of languages. Look, darling, do you like it? I bought it so that I can wear it at the tower's inauguration. Isn't it beautiful? Do you want me to say it's beautiful? It's beautiful! But today you're speaking a language I don't understand. Oh. What did you say to me? Oh. What did you say? Uh -huh. What did you say? I don't understand. Uh, it's strange because I, I'm not able to understand a single uh, word of anything you say. I can't understand a single word you say. Chicken, give the cook from me a silver coin. What on earth did he say? Mm -hmm. What the devil did you say? This is the last level. It has to be splendid, magnificent. Here, the statue of the new god of the city will be worshipped. The king will be pleased. Close the tent, quickly! When the tower is completed, a huge party will be thrown and the entire city will celebrate our king's omnipotence. Oh. Where does this wind come from? The sky is clear! What do you say? I don't understand! I don't understand! I 
I don't uh, understand what uh, you're uh, saying. Why are you talking to me? What are you saying? Why are you talking in another language? Why are you what talking are you in saying? another language? What are you saying? What are you saying? I don't know. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Is my taco birundo What do you say? Don't don't you understand me? Trokis my falcola kala upala. about it, Grandfather. Will God be pleased with us? God is always pleased with us when we do his will. 